I want to talk about life on board. It's a real community atmosphere on board these ships because you have the exhibition staff, but also the hotel staff, everyone. It's a real community atmosphere, particularly since a lot of you are going to be independent travellers and you're a bit nervous. Don't worry, you're going to make friends for life. What's really important on the ship, we're going to spend a lot of time on the ship at sea and at the destination. It's the chance to give all those fascinating lectures from our expedition staff and at the end of each day to give our recaps of what we may have seen or what we may plan to see the next day. It's often in the bar. So again, there's a real community atmosphere on board. So just to stress the amount of time we spend on that vessel. So quite often we'll be out on deck looking out for whales and uh, seabirds. Also quite often these days because we're going to such remote locations we're often doing citizen science because you the guest often get some good pictures of the flukes the tails of a whale which can be sent into them. So this is what's really exciting about being on board an expedition cruise ship. The other thing is by being out on deck, sometimes you may need to wrap up. It's the best way to deal with seasickness. The doctor will give you advice on seasickness tablets or the patches. But the best thing of all, if you're feeling the rolling of the ship, is to look outside or to wrap out and go out on deck. A great place is, is at the stern, sitting out of the wind, watching the seabirds coming up behind or other times it may be in the bridge you can most of them have a bridge policy or up on the top deck looking forward and by seeing horizon this what makes a really big difference to that sea sickness.